How to change a fuse in a traditional fuse box. Hello and welcome to Video Jug. This is a traditional fuse box. Each fuse it contains is for a different electrical circuit in the building. If there is a power surge, faulty wiring or a fault with an electrical appliance, the fuse for that electrical circuit will trip, breaking the circuit and cutting the power for that section of the electrics. The fuse will need to be replaced in order for the power to be restored. Step 1. You will need a torch, a screwdriver, fuse wire and some wire cutters. Step 2. Check electrical appliances. When an electrical circuit has blown, you should first check the appliances in that particular area. It could be that a cartridge fuse has blown in a plug, and in turn, blown the circuit fuse. Unplug the appliances and test them in an area that still has power. You don't want to repair the circuit fuse only to have it blow again due to a faulty appliance. Step 3. Locate the fuse box. Now head for the fuse box, if needs be, with the help of your torch. Your fuse box should be located close to your electricity meter. Step 4. Turn off the master switch. Normally when a fuse blows, it is automatically thrown into the off position, but make sure just in case. Step 5. Locate the blown fuse. If there's more than one fuse, remove them one by one and inspect the thin fuse wire to see if it's broken or not. Step 6. Select the fuse wire. You must replace the fuse wire with a fuse wire of the same amperage. As a rule, these circuits require the following amperage. Light circuits run on 5 amps. Immersion heater circuits run on 15 to 20 amps. Wall socket and cooker circuits run on 30 amps. Warning. Never replace a fuse wire with one of a higher amperage. This could cause a fire. Step 7. Replace the fuse wire. Partially unscrew the screws at either end of the fuse. Remove the damaged remains of the old fuse wire and carefully thread the new wire through the central porcelain part of the fuse. Wind the wire around the first screw, then the second, and tighten down the screws. Make sure you snip off any excess wire. Step 8. Replace the fuse. Put the fuse back in the fuse box. Step 9. Turn on the master switch. Done.